hung this is where I'm gonna sound super old again. I hung my uh, collectible vinyl. I love it on that wall. So I had like records that were heart shaped or picture discs or different things, just all over this wall. Because I'm 21. Well, I'm 22. No, I think that's cool. Wall. Well, so and I put them all just because there's a hole obviously in the center of a record, and I hung them on nails that were put in the mm-hmm. wall at a pretty angle. steep angle so that it would stay on the wall. Yeah. Every single time my mother came to visit, and I do mean every single time, the one record on the wall that was in the shape of a heart would come up off of the wall and land at her feet. Oh, every first. Fr- so George apparently had the big pants for my mother. He was like, "See like- my phallus outside, girl. We got a party. <laughs> yeah, you've seen my, you've seen my giant dick. And now yep. here's my heart. Here we are." Like, oh. So yeah. that was just kind of weird and funny, and that one never bothered me. I was like, but it was always the same one. So, so how many times did it happen? Do you think in the course uh, of the time you lived there? Probably four. Oh, damn, though. Yeah. Did it happen to anybody else? No. Crazy. It ah! never happened to any... It never happened. It wasn't like the wind caught that one right. record sure. in the middle of the record wall. Yeah. And maybe through. she's a... Poor, maybe there's some... Grandma's just like a magnet. Maybe. She walks around and everything's like, hey, big pants for that. Dead, alive, it doesn't matter it anymore. It doesn't matter. Well, you know. Um, but the scary one that happened there... Right. Um, so one night... Uh, I was sleeping on the couch. I'm not much of a couch sleeper. I don't sleep well on the couch. I don't care what kind of... It could be the nicest couch in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to sleep well. Sure. But uh, I'm in the living room. I'm laying on the couch trying to sleep. And at the... Like, where the couch was, right next to it was the sliding glass door to go out into the backyard. So I'm laying there, tossing and turning, trying to sleep when I hear... And I'm facing the back of the couch. So I'm facing the wall. When I hear... Somebody tapping huh? at the sliding glass door. Huh? Now, if there's huh? someone outside my house, uh, they can just die because I'm not going to open the door. I don't care. They can just die. They can just die. I don't care <laughs> if someone's chasing you. Sorry about it. I'm not opening I the door. I love that that. That's your response. They can just die. They can just die. Oh, yeah. Well, it turns out they already had. Oh, because I look, because I had no choice. There was no curtain on the sure. door. And I'm facing that way, but there's no one there. Uh, and I was like, that was weird. I'm So, of course, again, in that split second, I'm like, pine cones the wind blew yeah. something at the door something mm-hmm. you know and then i roll over and there's somebody standing on the other side of me and i look up and there's literally a man standing right there and i think of course at that moment that there's really someone in my house and i let out this blood curdling scream that i'm sure woke the neighbors oh. but he literally vanished right ah! there. And I was like... Did he have a phallus in hand? He did not. Oh, did damn not. it! Uh, not, not real or ghostly. He wasn't hate holding it. his junk while I was screaming. Maybe... <laughs> girl, that sounds like I mean, all your 20s, another girl. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but there was a time at the bar oh, where this no. man came up to me. And literally... I'm Not a ghost story. This is a real story. This man came up to real me... Real penis. And was like trying to get me to like... Show some interest in him, and I was not interested. Mm, nor. And he literally whipped his junk out of his britches, and it was as big as my forearm. You're like, what am I to what? Burp it? <laughs> right? What am I going to do with that? Uh-huh. Put the elephant back in your pants. They're endangered. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bonnet on it and call it a baby. I don't know, because ah, it was big. Yeah. It were big. And I was all, ugh. Well, even funnier is the next day I was talking to one of my girlfriends. She's like, oh, I went home with that guy. And I'm like, why? Uh, uh, are you broken? Did he tear you to bits? <laughs> Does your vagina Sorry. still even work? No. Oh. You're making assumptions. That she has a vagina? Well, that, that's what they did. No, I knew she had a vagina. That's what they did. Well, I don't know. Maybe they just got naked and <laughs> writhed on the ground together. Maybe. Like worms. Oh my god. Or she like strung it up like a maypole and danced around it. I don't know. I... <laughs> It was huge! It's a very different, like, spring celebration that I've ever heard of, but well, I think we should, well. you know what, men, be good for something. <laughs> right. You're now the maypole. You know That's probably a good place oh. to just take a little break. After the penis and the maypole. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I, you know, we're back. And, we're that, and hey, yeah. I, I don't remember if I told, did I tell you that we're, oh, I did, I told you we're having music made. I talked to Q and the music is being finished as we sing. Andale. So I hopefully by the our next pod we'll actually sound like professionals and we'll have music. <laughs> <Girl. and laughs> what kind of professionals? Well, because right now, you know, I have my little my little sound it's machine. It's good. It's actually called a sound machine. Because mm-hmm, they're original. I love that it's the size of 
like an old transistor radio. Oh my god, I'm so old. Can you say things people understand? <laughs> It's the size of... No, I can't. No. Um, I'm like, what would it be the size of? Cassette. An what Altoids the... case. Ooh. Ooh, everybody knows Look what that it. is. Uh-huh. Cha-ching. <laughs> that one has so well random stupid sounds. They sure does. Like, for my last story. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> but we're gonna, you know, have like real, real yeah. music and whatever. I love that. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, back to ghosts. Oh. And away from music. Oh, it's a so boogie. Um, so there's one story that I find very comical that you haven't heard quite yet. Which oh I yeah, guess. I've been waiting for this one. So when we we talk about what we're gonna do on our pod, and we get together and we're like, let's do this. So let's talk about this, and we kind of go over kind of rough mm-hmm. outline. But when she told me what this story was, I was like, don't tell me anything. Tell I've me. never heard this story. Mm-hmm. I want to have, you know, a real reaction when you yes. tell me because it sounds so freaking stupid. Mm-hmm. And it involves it my sister, who mm. is quite the storyteller to begin with, mm. of things that weren't always truthful. Right. And because, well, she was drunk. Well, okay. Well, I'm glad that we've, you prefaced all of that because that makes my job easier. Perfect. Um... So yes, your sister. In that same house I mentioned before where the child screamed because someone was in the closet and then the ring was set there and I was like, girl, girl, girl. <laughs> so this, my aunt, her room was right when you walked to the front door. It was right, it was to the right, okay? And I was there often. It was Carlson's not a very big town. It's my family's house. You know what I mean? I was there. My cousin lived there. Right. The same age, whatever. Um... I uh, remember being there, and my cousin Brianna and I are hanging out, because we did often, and my aunt wakes up and comes into the dining room kitchen area, and she is, like, out of it. Like, she just seems, like, winded, kind of flabbergasted, and I was like, okay, well, this doesn't, it's not, like, an abnormal look for her sometimes, you know what I mean? (laughs) So I was like, rough <laughs> night. Know. And it was like afternoon. So it wasn't early morning, wasn't late night. She hadn't been like up drinking the night before. Yes, ma'am. But this is, you know, she had just woke up. Uh, well, she decided to say that she had a rough night. And we're all like, okay, cool beans. Like, we're eating our sandwiches. Leave us alone. And she then decided to tell us that. Um, her husband was at home at the time, but she remembers having intercourse. And again, when they lived there, we were middle schoolers, maybe entering high school. So I'm like, do what? Why do I at 12, <laughs> Why do I need this information? need to know? And I was like, oh, and my cousin was like, what? What? Like what? I don't understand. What do you mean? She was like, and this house is haunted. And we already knew that, girl. So I was, like, bought in. I was like, right. so your house your, is haunted. Your and your vagina was also haunted. Girl. Uh, and I, <laughs> where is that? <laughs> um, so I was already like, oh, I already know your house is haunted, bitch. I already called the ghost investigators. The priest is on his way. Like, your house is haunted. And so, like, and I know that our family is obviously haunted people. So I was like, oh. So my next uncle... Is going to be a ghost? Like, this is the best Adam's Family motherfucking story I've ever heard in my life. But she told us. And I was like, again, why are you telling us? Like, do you have friends? Like, maybe you shouldn't tell your children and your niece that you were banged out by a ghost. But she sure did. She's, she told us that she had intercourse with somebody who wasn't there. And so, again, I didn't take into account alcoholism. Because why would I? Right. I'm 12-ish. I was just like, <laughs> whew, okay. So that girl, she's not only getting play in the real world, but she getting play in the ghost world. Well, what is it with the women well, in our family? Just grandma's getting it from ghosts. Your sister's getting it from ghosts. Are you telling me that you've never got it from a ghost? I have never had no ghost. I mean, same. I have no ghost sex for me. I, I prefer the real thing. Well, you don't. You can't say that. You have never had ghosts. Well, I suppose that's true. So, I have nothing to compare it with. Excuse me. You're making assumptions. I guess I am. I yeah, should not do but that. But that was one of my favorite moments ever because the older I get, the more comical it is that mm-hmm. my aunt who loved the juice just 
decided to tell me and her daughter how she was railed by a ghost while her husband was out. And I was just like, well, you do look sweaty and winded. But like, again, abnormal? No. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Isn't that good? Yeah. And it's funny to me because, um, I mean, it's funny. Because it's funny. Also, I need to say this. I'm sorry if I offended you, but I'm not really that sorry. I was there. It happened. It was fun times. Okay? No, it's it's good times. Uh, No, I... Because I was thinking about when you first told me that was the topic of that story. Yeah. That uh, I was thinking about Katya, you know, of Trixie 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 and Katya. Katya. Mm -hmm. Uh, Katya Zemlujikova. That one of her fantasies is that she wants to be uh, railed Mm -hmm. by a ghost. Uh, Just why? I just feel like scary... Oh, also, but ew. if you're railed by ghosts, do you need lube? Look, I mean, I'm, is it, honey, I don't know, <laughs> or is it like <laughs> Ghostbusters where everything's like gooey and slimy? Ew! <laughs> oh, I, I, why am I wrong though? I'm not, I am Roy. Yeah, but so you have uh, like slime trail that's much probably harder to clean up than the normal variety. I'm leaving this house and I'm never coming back. You I say that, but it's never hate true. It here. <laughs> I just want you to be aware of how much I hate it here. Well, what? ectoplasm. That, that's it. Mm-hmm. Orgasm, ectoplasm, I don't know. I am all done. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I can't talk to you anymore. Uh, um, I don't, I don't know. I understand. Mm-hmm. So when I... Uh, was with my first husband. Mm-hmm. We lived in this shitty little trailer. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. A lovely manufactured home. Beautiful. No, it was a shitty little trailer. Okay. In Gladstone. Um, whatever. No, I don't... Anyhow. <laughs> uh, Stroke? Maybe. Okay. Perhaps. Um, but often I would hear the strangest noises. I mean, it's like... And they weren't like abnormal noises per se that was odd that I was hearing them when I was hearing them. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes I'd be in the shower and I would hear the music from Mario Brothers playing and I'm all... What? I'm alone here and I didn't leave and that doesn't play by itself. And I'm like, why am I hearing that? Whatever. Or I would hear like, like just different electronic sounds and I was like, has my whole house just gone crazy? Is yes, there, girl. you know, is there weird shit? Well, come to find out, the woman who uh, again died there, why it always be someone dying mm, there? Girl. Was deaf. And I think this is just my theory. Mm-hmm. You can poo poo my theory all you like, because it's you know I did not talk to the Ghostbusters or Ghost Hunters or any of the people that have TV shows about it now. Mm. But I think because she never heard anything in life, yeah. that all of these noises that she heard now she's hearing. post-life, yep. that she was imitating. Yeah. And because I, literally, I was in the bathroom, and one day I wasn't even in the shower, because, you know, the water distorts Sure. Family. But I'm in the bathroom, and all of a sudden I hear a phone ringing. Weird. But it was like, not my phone. Yeah. Because it was like, phone. that is not the sound my phone makes. Uh-uh, I'm not paying and this, this is, bill, honey. This is before everyone in the world had a cell right. phone. I did not. It was, you exclusive. had to have it attached to a wire. In it was house. exclusive. <laughs> I love that. Listen, the first phone that I remember having as a child, not me personally, my family, mm-hmm. we was poor. We didn't need to have our own phone, was on what's called a party line. Oh, yeah. Which means, you know, you shared your phone line with your neighbors. So you only got to make a phone call if nobody else in the neighborhood was on the phone. I don't like Isn't that. that the dumbest thing you ever yeah, heard? Yeah, I, inv- I don't know who invented that nonsense. I guess it was for poor people so they could share. I don't know. Sharing. I don't want to share my phone. I know. But um, that was just kind of a weird one. That one wasn't scary or spooky. It was just no. like, what the hell? All the okay. time I'm like, why am I hearing these odd noises? But it wasn't just... Those two, but it was always kind of electronic yeah. sounding noises. So it makes me think, because I know that you had a Teddy Ruxpin. Yes. Right? And you had yes. his like worm friend, whatever he was, right? Uh, you were talking about? Caterpillar? Was that what was it was? A caterpillar? I don't, I don't remember. I don't know. But they had like little cassette things you could put in their back yes. and they would like talk along and give, 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 give. So I had one as well. This is it also, it scared me as a child, but it was not a scary story. Um, very young, living in Carlton. My... My, I have two older brothers. Um, one of them is nine nine years older than me. So I was three. So it makes him roughly 12. 
And he got my Teddy Ruxpin. He listened to a lot of grunge and uh, 